The patient is positioned supine with the transducer at the mid-axillary line between the subcostal margin and iliac crest. Three distinct layers of abdominal wall muscles are seen, including the external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis. The peritoneum and contiguous transversalis fascia are visualized as a hyperechoic structure deep to the transversus abdominis muscle. The needle target is the neurovascular fascial plane superficial to the transversus abdominis muscle. This plane contains the thoracoabdominal nerves that innervate the lower abdomen. The needle is inserted with an in-plane approach and continuous visualization of the needle tip is critical to avoid inadvertent puncture of the peritoneum. Hydrodissection with normal saline here does not show clear separation of the two layers and suggests that the needle tip is likely intramuscular. Further advancement is necessary. With additional advancement of the needle tip and an additional pop, the needle has now entered the plane between the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. Injection of local anesthetic demonstrates the clear bidirectional separation of the two layers, suggesting deposition in the correct fascial plane. Doppler imaging may also be helpful to avoid vasculature in this area. At our institution, we typically use 0.2% ropivacaine or 0.25% bupivacaine with or without epinephrine at approximately one milligram per kilogram dosing for bilateral tap blocks.